Hello everybody, after a very very hard problem yesterday, at least in my opinion, today we have something much easier and more standard, number of islands, I think it just, in a grid you're given uh, cells representing land and water in some map, and you need to count how many regions there are of land, so islands. Even a two-dimensional grid map of ones and zeros, Count the number of islands. An island is surrounded by water and is formed by connecting adjacent lands horizontally or vertically. Three possible solutions for that are BFS, DFS and find an union, also called disjoint set union. This is the most elegant solution, but you need to know that particular technique. Today I will use BFS. Each of those is around linear. Find an union is slightly slower. Uh, but yeah, let's use BFS. For every for every cell of the grid, is it square? Two dimensional. I wonder if it's square or not. If not, then maybe if grid is empty, I don't know if it is possible. If grid is empty, then return zero. Otherwise, height of the grid is size of that. Width of the grid is this. For every row and column, the hardest part will be to iterate over neighbors without making like a lot of ifs, a lot of copy pasted code. But there is a matter for that. I will talk about it. Iterate over all the cells. If it wasn't visited yet, column and it is land, so it is part of some island. Then we start a new island. And the grid of row column is equal one, then plus plus answer, and we need to run this DFS or BFS or whatever. At the end return answer. Initially it is equal to zero. Every time when I start answer, I will mark all cells within the same island as visited. So for example, starting from starting from this cell, I will say those two and those two are also visited, and from them later I will not start a new DFS or I'm doing BFS. How to do BFS? I need a Q or a vector, anything like that. Let's call it Q. Q push a pair row comma column. Now, while it's not empty, I will take it. The P is that pair Q top. I need to also pop it. Or maybe even pop returns a pair, I'm not sure about that. And uh, iterate over neighbors and add them as well. And now there are two methods for that. One is ugly copy paste. Something like, uh, like we are now at pair p first, comma p second. I can say, if not visited of p first plus one, p second, this, like if I'm at cell five, comma two, then six, two is one of my neighbors. If not visited, and grid of that, p first plus one, p second is equal one. And in the very first place, it's within the bounds, uh, because maybe I'm already on the boundary of a grid, and my neighbor doesn't exist. Maybe this is outside of the bounds. And I need to also maybe here have a function like inside, uh, for convenience, that will check that for me. And this will check if row is between 0 and height minus 1, width is between 0 and width minus 1. If this, then a very, very long if, q push p first plus 1, comma p second. And anything else? I can mark it as visited, uh, not to put it later again in this queue. That, but also when pushing the very first thing. I believe if we copy paste this three more times to check every other neighbor, it will be correct. Uh, I need function inside. I will do that as lambda function in C++. Then I don't need to like, if I wanted to create this function here, pull inside, then I would need to pass height and width of the grid. Then it's easier to just make it locally. It gets row and column and returns Row must satisfy this, call must satisfy that. Rows are numbered from 0 to height minus 1. And columns from 0 to width minus 1. 
but I don't want to copy paste. Instead, I know that from a cell there are four directions and I can kind of hard code those directions. One of them will increase row by one and don't not touch a, a column and so on. One possibility is this directions and I can just once fill them. Each of those can be treated as a vector, a transition. Like from 5-2 to get to a neighbor 5-3, I say that I need to increase second coordinate by, by 1. So this is by adding this vector of 0, 1, vector in terms of math. So here to iterate, I'm not going to copy paste this three times. Instead, for every direction in directions, new row is p first plus dear first, new column is p second plus dear second, and now I need this long if, but the cool thing is I'm not going to copy paste that or anything. Uh, if this new cell, if it is inside a grid, new call and not visited of new row, new call. Of course, I wouldn't need to remove it if I didn't write all of that in the first place. And this, this is a land. And then just I'm moving from one cell with land to other cell with land. It's one, then Q push, uh, despair, new row, comma, new column. Marcus visited. And that's everything. Run code. Compilation error. What? Uh, line 76? Maybe just I'm missing this bracket, but the compilation error was strange. I couldn't understand it. I've like, visited. Is that it should say it's a two dimensional ar array, so it's something like visited of height by width. But in C, it's best to use vectors, they are a very modern and good tool. Vectors by default are filled with zeros, or in terms of four Boolean values, by default, it's false. There is no top. Uh, what is it then? No, what I'm interested in is front. Uh, pop would make more sense for a stack because I'm then taking from from the end. So that was stupid. Uh, it's q dot front. But also I need to remove it and then pop works fine and while it runs I will check if maybe pop returns a value no it doesn't submit so what we witnessed here is BFS using Q uh, and having a vector of directions to handle the neighbors similarly if you wanted to find some paths for a chess in the night, for a knight in chess, where it can go by two cells in one direction and one cell in the par parallel direction, not parallel, perpendicular, then you could hard code here like two comma minus one, two comma one, and so on. A lot of things, one comma minus two, eight possible moves uh, a knight has, or we could do some for loops like to iterate over. Like one delta row, delta column, one of those must be two, one of uh, the other must be one, and sometimes with signs. It can be done with programming as well if you have really a lot of options. But if it's just like four of them, it's better to write them by hand. It will be fast and and just you need to carefully write those numbers down once. Cool, cool, cool. If you want to do anything extra here, then you can learn this joint set union, just Google that DSU or find an union and solve that problem by 
for every pair of neighbors saying if they are both London and we union them, we say they are in the same group at the end, you are just interested in the number of groups, but it isn't faster in any way. BFS and DFS solutions are both of size of the grid, height times width, both time and space, because we need to store everything in terms of DFS in recursion or in terms of BFS in that queue. Plus, like for example, this array for visited cells, it's of height plus uh, of height times width. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you tomorrow. Bye. One, two, three, four, five, microphone test.